Uh, my name is Moin, and I work at uh, Open Universities Australia. And today, I just wanted to share a few tips and tricks um, that have really helped me uh, get things done faster, easier, uh, mostly with front-end um, HTML, CSS, um, JavaScript coding. Um, I've got no slides. I'm just going to open up my editor and just do stuff. Um, one of the things I've been using is a um, um, auto hotkey, and I've been using that as a text expander to do snippets. Um, the unique thing about this is it's not limited to your um, IDE or editor. Um, you can use that anyway if you've got it set up. Um, I think there's similar stuff for, uh, for the Mac fanboys and girls um, called text expander that works in a similar fashion. Um, now, obviously, you can extend that beyond just code. You can have anything, you know, canned responses for your emails, um, signatures, things like that. Um, so stuff that I've got set up, for example, is if I want to just start, um, I've got a basic, you know, template that I start off with. Um, but then I've also got um, it set up to do um, shortcuts for CSS. Um, so instead of typing the whole property and value, you can just do um, the first letter. So for float left, for example, um, you could just do F, L, and then hit a tab to expand it out. Um, for example, you'd go that. And that just works with um, pretty much, I've set it up to uh, work with pretty much all the property. The other cool thing I've done with this is um, you can also do things like and that does um, uses the number to do um, the unit as well. Um, again, I've extended it to do um, a whole bunch of stuff. You can set it up to do um, shortcuts to um, set up your CSS file or uh, link to your CSS file. Um, you can also set where the cursor or the caret ends up once your snippet expands, which is handy. Um, the other thing I've been using uh, as well is uh, a tool called Zane Coding. Um, some of you have already heard of it. Um, what this allows you to do, rather than explain, let me just show you. Um, it's, it's an add-on that's available for many, many IDEs and editors. Um, there's one for Notepad++, there's, there's one for Coda, um, IntelliJ, Eclipse, um, all the standard editors out there. Um, what it can do, so if you were thinking about laying out your markup, um, and let's say you wanted a div with an ID of page. Within that, you wanted a div uh, which was going to have a class of logo. And next to that, you wanted a UL for your navigation. Inside that, you wanted five list items. And inside that, you wanted um, an anchor. Let's just give it a href now of something. And then you just hit Control E for Notepad++, and that just expands out to markup, um, which is pretty handy. Um, it works for any XML-based language, so you could just you know, use that for a lot of stuff. Um, you could pretty much write an entire page in one line and then expand it out. Um, <laughs> the other thing it also does is once it expands that out, it gives you keyboard shortcuts to put the caret to the next edit point. So if you went control alt right bracket it would just jump there another one would jump there another one it would jump there so sort of really speeds things up um, another handy thing that it does is you could have for example you know a bunch of stuff like that and you can use zen coding again to wrap that in markup um, an example for this one could be ul li star, and the star is what says what markup and where to wrap that up with. And if you did that, boom. Um, a few other things uh, I wanted to share as well is um, some of you may know Firebug, we all use it, but Firebug has add ons on top of Firebug itself that do pretty handy things. Um, there's one, for example, oh, we'll just jump onto Zen Coding's website. Um, you could install this called 
um, fire picker, which adds in a which adds in a color picker, but you can also sort of change it on the fly, like that. And then um, it just saves it back as a hex code on the page. Um, there's one other thing I'm using called CSS updater, stuff that you change in Firebug. If it's a local CSS file, you can have this running in the background and hit sync. It actually saves whatever changes you've done back into the CSS file, so you're not having to copy paste from Firebug back into your CSS file. Um, that's it for me. This is the tricks I've got. Thank you, Rob.